Hi, my name is Hermes Smith, and I'm a disciple making movement coach with City Team here in San Jose, California. I'm with pastor, author, movement uh, catalyst Roy Moran. Um, I want to ask you, you know, uh, we were on a conference call yesterday, on a, and people ask about resources. So as they're looking at, you know, building teams or just how can I get people to learn more about this uh, disciple making movements and all of that, what are some, some books that, that, or some resources that you find that is helpful to, that create some on-ramps and also grow people's understanding? Well, uh, there's some standard kind of basic resources uh, like Miraculous Movements by Jerry Trousdale, uh, Father Glorified by Patrick Robertson, uh, both telling some stories, you know, that um, that that chronicle the the city team disciple making things that happened in uh, sub-Saharan Africa. Um, David Watson's book Contagious, David and Paul Watson, Contagious Disciple Making, mm -hmm. um, very good you know book uh, from a standpoint of just taking those principles out of those two books and and laying them out there. Uh, of course, I have to give a shameless plug for spit matches. Absolutely, yeah, uh, a book that I wrote about our experience and and um, you know trying to take a, a disciple making movements or CPM DMM, how, whatever your your phraseology there, into a uh, traditional attractional church in, in the U.S. Um, you know, there, there's some other things that don't necessarily fit right in the vein. They're not spiritual writings, but uh, Liz Wiseman. Um, has a, a couple of books. Uh, one's called Multipliers, and then another one's very similar, Multipliers for Educators. Um, and she she really captures the idea of what a catalytic leader is um, in a very good book for learning what it's like to, to be a, a catalyst. Um, Neil Postman has a book. It's an old book, hard to find. Uh, Neil Postman's famous for writing a book called... Uh, um, uh, uh, entertaining ourselves, uh, entertaining ourselves to death. Maybe that's it. But anyway, this book is called "Teaching as a Subversive Activity," okay. and he really does capture the discovery concept in this book, um, and really has a lot of illustrations about how it practically works in education. Now, the book's written in the '60s, okay. so it's a really, really old book. That's why it's hard to find. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but if if you like reading, uh, you will enjoy that book because it does, you know, really have uh, some some great stuff to it. Um, so, yeah, and I, I any any blogs or things like that. Um, I, I regularly get a Seth Godin's blog every day, um, and for some it's too much. But um, I would say there's not a week goes by that I don't find a real kernel That's in there of yeah. mm -hmm, something that, that really does relate, you know, to that. Um, you know, there's we, we capture some things out there. Um, DiscoverDMM.com, uh, DMMLearningLab.com. Uh, we, we try to stay up on top of all the videos that come out. Um, that are out there um, and stuff. I mean, uh, you know, follow Hermie Schmidt's you know YouTube channel. You can yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, also, um, you know, if you if you follow the the disciple making movements on City Team, and uh, we're we're definitely starting to put some more energy in on on our website, keeping it updated, um, highlighting training opportunities. Um, there'll be some more letters and things like that, just highlighting a principle or. Or, or, or things like that. So, um, so there are definitely resources out there. Thank you for creating resources. What is, what's the next thing you're working on after spend matches? Um, we, we are attempting to uh, take a, a little portion uh, of a concept out of spent matches and develop it. There's 10 mind shifts. Mm -hmm. um, They've gotten a lot of traction, especially overseas. Um, you know, unbeknownst to me, you know, spent matches has been translated into Indonesian, uh, Portuguese. Um, I heard today of another translation in Spanish, but I have also a full translation of it going <laughs> in, in Spanish as well. Um, uh, so, you know, you, you get those kinds of things. But uh, those mindset shifts um, are, are, are really critical, I think, in a churched world, in a place where we have to tear down 
a lot of concepts um, because there's the the potential for people to replace things. Mm. You know, they 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 have a concept that they're familiar with, and you give them a new concept, and so they just take that old concept and replace it with a new concept, yeah. but they don't really invest it with its new meaning, mm. and uh, so that you need to kind of break it down. So just kind of helping people understand, you know, things like moving, you know, going through the full explanation of why it's not about making disciples, but it's making disciple, making disciples, or, yeah. you know, some pretty standard ones from knowledge to obedience, you know, that kind of stuff from, you know, things like, you know, uh, why I would start with a group rather than a person in, in terms of a, a spiritual yeah. journey. Yeah. Um, some simple things, but, but things that are fundamental to movement. You know, as, as, as one of our mentors, David Watson, has always said, you know, um, you always end like you begin, mm -hmm. you know. And so um, I think, you know, another Harry Brown says it this way, you know, in the sense is that, you know, what people are one with is what they're one to. Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, if they're one with a, uh, a discovery approach, if they're one, one with non-professional, you know, their fingerprints on the Bible, them hearing straight from God, that's what they'll be one to. That's what's going to multiply. Right. You know, right. and uh, so getting those concepts across to people. And you're going to make it available? Well, we're going to... Um, uh, we we uh, have contracted a, an ebook writer or an ebook designer, um, and uh, we we hope to uh, around the first of January have the, um, the hybrid church in an ebook. That's the oh, okay. first project that um, that we're going to release with her, and then um, and then we'll start writing on the next the chapters, and hopefully month by month. Well, better than that, hopefully. Um, We'll, we'll start releasing chapters, um, you know, and uh, maybe every two or three weeks as we get them done mm -hmm. for an internal training we're doing at, at Shoal Creek. So um, maybe by Easter we'll have that that whole out there. And um, and we hope to have it uh, pretty tactile in a sense, we, you know, a lot of experiences in it. Mm -hmm. So someone could take a tablet or an iPad or whatever, even a phone, you know, into a, a group of people. And it would be a training tool that mm -hmm. they could use with people. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Roy, and uh, yeah, thank you for developing these tools, and uh, we really, really appreciate that, and God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Cool.